how to start a blog which can be successful in a short period of time then guys this video is very important to you hi guys my name is Kirti Shwyas and I welcome you all to this new channel blogging OS and in this channel the first video very first video we are going to discuss how to start a blog and if you are new to this channel then do subscribe hit like and share your opinion what exactly you think about the blogging so basically in this video I am going to uh, explain you 11 fundamentals which every blogger must know if he or she is willing to get success in the blogging blog is not something like creating some some sort of website and putting some sort of content and then you will start hoping that your post will rank and you will make money no this is not that logic this is totally different and that's why here in this video I am going to uh, go through a step by step on those 11 fundamentals which will clear your mind how exactly you should start a blog so guys definitely if you are new to this channel then do subscribe and let's go to my site which is a very new site very branded site there I have published a post and we will go through that post one by one so guys here you can see on the screen this is my new website in this website I have recently as of now I have published around five posts in this there is one post how to start a blog and we will go through this part this post is around 15,000 word long so you don't have to go anywhere just read this post and if you like just share this on uh, different social media channels do provide your comment at the bottom of this post if you have any particular query so guys here you can see I have provided uh, 11 fundamentals so we will go through those 11 fundamentals and if you will be with me till the end of this video I am sure you will get an idea how exactly you should start your very first blog so guys the very first thing which is the step number one and in this is in this particular section I have explained what exactly the blogging all about I know people are confused in between the blog and website so I'm just giving you a brief idea what is a blog in simple mean blog is something where you are updating content every day and website is something which is sort of static thing which is an identity of any particular business so you are creating a blog which required multiple times update on that website okay so blog is a part of a website but website cannot be a part of a blog that is a sort of uh, uh, difference you should remember when you will start a blog that's what I have explained in this step number one and as a beginner when you will start a blog then you should uh, you should remember all these things okay so basically that's what I've explained here you can go through that section then the very important part which every beginner asking to me is what is the difference in between the WordPress and blogger so I'm just giving you a brief idea blogger is a free platform provided by Google there you you don't have to buy any sort of hosting you just have to provide your content but there are certain limitations you cannot customize your blog or you cannot automate your blog to do some sort of jobs and yes here you are not the king of your blog in future if you are not following the guideline of Google your blog can be banned it can be disabled and you can't do anything and that's why the people have started or started moving to the WordPress and do remember if you are willing to have your own business in the coming future by having your blog then always start with WordPress WordPress is a content management system and more than 62% of all the worldwide CMS is uh, exist in the WordPress itself so that's what I have explained you what exactly the advantages of WordPress and what are the advantages of the blogger so you can go through this guide and you will get a good idea why you should start with a blogger and why you should start with a WordPress in short mean I would say WordPress would be the best platform if you wanted to monetize in the coming future for better earning purpose and this doesn't cost you much more it will cost you around hundred dollar per year not more than that if you are willing to start a very basic vlog from WordPress and WordPress itself has two platform wordpress.com and wordpress.org so what is the difference in between those two it's even explained in this particular section so you can go through that okay so now let's go to the step number three which every beginner should know is all about the niche selection when I'm talking about niche then what does it mean by niche is some sort of category okay let's say you love fashion industry you might love digital marketing industry Industry. so all these different different industries are kind of niche but whenever if I'm talking about the health and fitness itself is a broader niche within that there could be subcategories right which we can call it as a sub niches like in the health and fitness we can talk about exercises that is one of the category 
yoga that is one of the category so these are known as the sub niches but when we will drill down it further and within the yoga if we are trying to identify a particular yoga pose then that will be known as micro niche and do remember if you are willing to start your very first blog then always try to find out the potential of that niche whether there is a seasonal traffic or there is a overall uh, year traffic let's take an example you are willing to start selling a particular winter jacket right winter jacket stuff you wanted to sell on your website so when will be the max potential of your website to get the traffic obviously in the winter right not the other season of the year so do not choose such niche always choose some broader niche so you will get instant traffic all over the year so that is what i have explained here what is the niche how to find out a profitable niche and how exactly the people are finding their best niches differences in between multi niche micro niche health niche and all about those niches and how google is uh, rating your website based on the niches you have chosen so that's what i have explained here which niche is profitable how you can get an idea this niche is uh, good for you and this niche is bad for you how you can get multiple categories like within the yoga itself you can have different categories but how you can get an idea this could be the category i can work upon so that's what i have explained here in this section and then after we i have gone through the uh, google trend to explain you that is yoga is one of the niche which has some uh, consistent train over the year so you won't be suffer with the traffic however this sort of niche which is swinging something uh, uh, one time in a year it's getting some sort of spike then after it's totally down so you do not uh, need to choose such sort of niche because niche is the primary point to get success in the blogging if you will choose some wrong niche you will be out from the race so that's what i've explained here guys you can go through this one step by step i've explained everything in this guide then after the most important part is if you are willing to start your blog with wordpress then wordpress need a hosting okay and definitely guys here i've explained what are the types of hosting and as a beginner you can use shared hosting shared hosting is some thing where multiple people are sharing some sort of resources that's why you have to pay less initially and the best part is as a beginner i would suggest you to start with the shared hosting but hosting is very important in terms of the website loading speed so always choose those hosting services which guarantee you some fastest loading speed and in this list one of the most favorite and most recommended hosting which i am planning to uh, recommend you is a2 hosting why because a2 hosting offer any time money back guarantee no hosting till date exists in the market which offer you any time money back guarantee and this hosting is well known for its fastest speed so how to open a hosting account with a2 hosting that's what what are their plans which plan you should choose as a beginner what are the step by step guide if you will go through this link then you will get 50% 51% off initially if you will subscribe through this then after what will be the next prices that's what i have explained here okay guys so hosting is very primary thing when you will plan to start your very first blog then the next section is what is domain name when i'm talking about the domain name then imagine you have your home address right home address is something if i wanted to send something to you then i can send that particular package to that address similarly on this internet hosting is holding all of your website content html css files and everything but when you will you you wanted to live your website on the internet you will need a address right like your home address so that address is known as the domain name and basically domain name is categorized into two part gtld and cctld gtld that means a general top level domain such as uh, .com .net .info which are not binded with any particular country but are used for specific uh, specific niches such as .com especially for uh, commercial industries you if you are building your business then use .com .info is informative industry .org if you are running any sort of uh, ngo or some sort of government organizations then you can use .gov educational organization then you can use edu so these are all gtld then cctld country Code top level domain. If I'm based in United Kingdom, then my domain could be .co.uk. If based in India, .in, in US, .us, Canada, .ca. So these are all known as CCTLD. So 
which domain you should choose as a beginner that's what i've explained in this guide all about how exactly the domains uh, and and why you should domain and does domain really impact your search engine optimization ranking even i insert that query into this particular section and then later how you can buy a cheaper domain i mean by paying less you can get a best domain name that's what even i've explained in this guide and you also will get some sort of free deals if you will go through these links then after the next part is keyword you know what does it mean by keyword keyword is something which will make sense for your website because your website will be totally ranked based on that particular keyword let's imagine i wanted to write something about search engine optimization then definitely my keyword would be seo so how to find a keyword using free and paid seo tools to identify what is the search volume how many people are searching for that and as a beginner if you will write on that particular keyword then how and what should be your strategy to write that particular content whether you should write or not to that specific keyword otherwise you won't rank okay so you have to identify low difficulty keyword which has higher potential as a beginner you can rank it that's what all i have explained here in the keyword research guide i am sure you can have some free seo tools you can have your paid seo tools so if you wanted to learn both the strategies that's what i have explained here in this guide using how to find out a keyword using a free seo tools and what are the types of different different keyword such as long tail keyword short tail keyword stay tuned on this channel because in the coming future i will make a videos on on different different keyword strategies what is keyword what is blogging what is affiliate marketing everything will come on this channel so if you are new do not forget to subscribe so you will get instant update and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any coming future video so if you will scroll down there are different different kinds of keywords i've explained there are strategies how to find out using paid seo tools what are the criteria everything is explained in this detail guide and i will provide the link in the description so you will get a good idea how exactly you should do the keyword search and everything so that's what i have explained here using paid and seo tool then the next part is lets you get some sort of keyword but what exactly the people are searching for that keyword imagine i am uh, i have find out a keyword with the name of a2 hosting login but what is the intention of the people while they are searching for that definitely they wanted to log into a2 hosting right they don't want it to read your post so how to find out a particular intent of a keyword that's what i've explained here how to find out a blog post idea so what should be their headings subheadings everything within the post that's what i've explained here in this section so go through this one you will get a good idea how your post should look like then the step number 8 that's all about the mandatory themes and the plugins as a beginner you should install which theme would be best for a lower prices you can install on your website and what are the mandatory 8 or 10 plugins to improve the security to improve the performance to improve the Uh, mo most of the automations of your website that's what i've explained here with each and every individual plugin and themes how exactly you have to install how it looks like when you will search in the wordpress that's what everything i've explained here in this particular section you can go through this one this is something kind of uh, and guys uh, you can bookmark this specific post so in future if you wanted to come back and to revisit you can get your detail from your browser itself you don't have to come back to website and that's what i wanted you to do to get success in the blogging okay then the next section is all about the on page search engine optimization now we have our keyword we have our website we have our domain everything is in place right now the next part is how to write a blog post when it comes to writing a blog post then the very important part is on page search engine optimization so what is on page seo is to target your particular keyword in a way so that google will start ranking in the search engine here you can see this particular keyword which is ranking in the search engine because i have optimized it properly so how to optimize it include your keyword in the h1 tag i have explained here include your keyword in the perma link which is the link of the post include your keyword in the slug how to change or how to add in the perma link that's what even i have explained include the keyword in the first paragraph here i have explained you how exactly i have did that then include your keyword in the different different sub heading and heading then interlinking then external linking everything is explained in this post with step by step pictorial diagrams so do not miss it then after how to include your keyword in the images then some advanced strategies to include some lsi which is latin semantic index sort of similar keyword of your main primary keyword that's what even i have explained here then after how exactly you should install some sort of seo plugins even that's what i have included in this guide and you can go through this one then the next section is step number 10 guys and this is all about how exactly you should promote your post which is sort of 
of page SEO technique. That means search engine optimization technique where you will start creating some backlinks. You will start promoting your blog post, how exactly you are publishing your post. That's what all I have explained here. Different, different backlink strategies, different, different, uh, what, what exactly you have to do once you will publish your post. That's even I have included in this section. So go through this one. You will get a good idea how exactly you should start your very first blog. Then after the next section is all about the last one, how exactly you can monetize your blog. So not only you are writing, but you will start making money. So there are different ways you can monetize your blog using the Google AdWord. You can monetize your blog using the uh, affiliate marketing. You can monetize your blog by selling the courses or by selling the ad spaces on the website. So that's what all I have explained here. So guys, this is something which every beginner must know as an 11 fundamentals. So if you're new to the blogging, come back to this blogging website and do enroll yourself. So you will get a uh, nine day free training on the blogging where every day you will get nine every day you will get a single PDF image on that particular section that will train you how exactly you should start a blog so if you are interested to start a very first blog which start ranking in the Google then do subscribe this channel and do enroll yourself in this uh, blogging OS name and email just provide it and enroll it now so I hope you guys uh, you like this video obviously it was a bit longer I'm trying to give you uh, an idea. You have to go through this post to get more a detailed overview on how exactly you should start a very first blog and keep eye on blogging OS. So you will keep getting more and more lessons or more and more blog posts on how exactly you should rank your blog post. So I hope you like this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel. So you will keep getting more and more updates in the coming future. That's all for today. Uh, let's see in the coming future. That's all for today. Thank you very much.